Hello Tankers! We decided to dedicate this episode of the vlog to just one topic. We're doing this intentionally to show how much time and effort something almost invisible but very important may take. Today we're going to discuss a contextual tutorial. Let's start with a bit of its history. If you want to skip to the present, here's the timestamp. When Tanky Online was created, teaching newcomers and showing them all the features of the game was not even a topic up for discussion. New players were sent straight into battle, with the only piece of advice being a small message explaining how to control a tank. The next step on the way to a big tutorial was adding helpful bubbles. Once you entered the garage, you saw a first bubble telling you that you could get crystal cashback for buying some new equipment. This taught players that it's worth it to upgrade their tank. Another bubble was able to send a player to a battle to get even more free crystals. And that was it, the entire interface tutorial. It was conceived as a temporary stopgap, but remained in the game for a very long time. The first fully-fledged guide was a tutorial, where a tank was in the hangar on a special map. Once a player learned how to drive a tank and left the hangar, suddenly bots began to attack the player from shelters. And the next thing to learn was how to press the spacebar button as soon as possible, until the enemy health bar was empty. Right inside the tutorial, the hull and turret changed for each situation. And in the end, a player needed to jump gracefully off a cliff and fight the Thunder Mammoth boss to finish. Russian YouTuber Waiter even has a video that shows how to break this tutorial. It got over half a million views. In fact, this tutorial was meant to be much more complex. It was supposed to teach newcomers all the different mechanics of each turret at once, and not just show how to shoot with each of them, but to show shot range, how damage reduction works, and how your projectiles can ricochet off walls. Making such a tutorial would have taken a lot of time, so a bare-bones version was released. Many questions were left unanswered in it. Why tanks attack you? Why different turrets are equipped? And why the Mammoth Thunder boss is just a regular tank in the real game? This tutorial didn't show the game you entered once you completed it. This format of teaching new tankers how to play remained in the game for a long time, long enough to understand that something was wrong with it. It was decided to perform an A-B test, this is a well-known technique of dividing an audience into two groups to compare results. The first group of new players were offered to go through the tutorial, and only then they could enter a real battle. Meanwhile, we immediately offered the second group the chance to go to the sandbox map and try it out for themselves in a real battle. Once we got all the data, we found that far more players stay in the game if they skip the guide. You open the game to play it, not to complete a boring tutorial. Players from the second group that were sent straight to battle stayed in the game for much more time, and it took much less time for them to understand how everything worked. When Tanky entered the mobile game market, the game's Android client got its own unique tutorial, complete with bots. Based on the past experience, it was already much more similar to real battles. A player's first task is to learn how to move around the battlefield understanding how to shoot and blowing up a couple of bots along the way. Next, as it works in mobile games, the player was asked to go through the stage called press all the required buttons, do all these actions, and only then we will let you play the game. Or just skip it all, but you will need to figure out how to play yourself. Now we can summarize the first part. All those tutorials were teaching a player basic skills in the game. Back then, there weren't that many turrets and hulls. But what about now? We have 12 hulls. 19 turrets, and a host of drones, overdrives, and augments. We can no longer attract new players without a completely redesigned contextual tutorial. Relying on 13 years of experience, we're making a new guide that will help a player at any time, as questions may arise at any rank. Questions such as why you need drones, what augments do in battles, and why you should purchase gold boxes. You will be able to find answers to all these questions in the game. Special help badges will appear above icons in the garage. They will always remain there. When a new mechanic is released, you will get a piece of advice on how to use it, which is useful for both new and experienced tankers. Even if you have played tanky before, but took a break for some reason, you can easily come back, as now this contextual tutorial can help you quickly restore your skills and get comfortable with new features. 
You choose where, how much and when to learn, available at any time, anywhere. We will no longer take you by the hand and show you all the features at once. Instead, we would encourage you to do so in exchange for small gifts. Together with the release of the new contextual tutorial, we will launch a permanent event for all newcomers. All players who created their accounts before this update will also get access to it. For completing these missions, you can receive containers. You can complete them at any time. In order to make this tutorial perfect, and you understand that it's not easy to get it right the first time, we need your help. In the forum, we have created a special topic where you can share your feedback with us. Hazel will be monitoring in 24-7 and will read each message. With the first iteration, which will be released from week to week, a good tutorial will be added to the game, and future updates will bring it to perfection. And that's all for today. As always, subscribe, leave a like and a comment. See you next week. Bye.